All right, we are going to um, look in the back of the eyes to check the optic disc, and we're going to use an ophthalmoscope with a light. We usually dim the lights. We ask the patient to look in the distance so they're not focusing on the light. Can you look in the distance at that spot way down at the end of that room? I'm going to bring, come in. As I come in, I'm going to try to focus on the red reflex. I'm going to look at her optic disc. I have to be close enough to see through a small, undilated pupil. I rest my third finger on her cheek, and this allows me to get as close as I need to. Another way to do it is to put my thumb on her forehead and then rest my ophthalmoscope right on her thumb, on my thumb. And I'm seeing a beautiful picture of her optic disc. Now to do the left eye, remember I used the right eye to look at her right eye and the left eye to look at her left eye. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to bring the ophthalmoscope in close enough and I have to be very close to see this optic disc. I can use my thumb again to rest the ophthalmoscope on the thumb to give me a more stable image. And I've got a beautiful view of her optic disc. Okay, when you're doing the ophthalmoscopic examination, you want to shine the light in the eye, get the red reflex, and then move in on the red reflex. In order to see the disc, you have to be very close. I use my third finger on the patient's cheek. Sometimes I even rest my thumb on the brow, but that is how close you have to be to see the optic disc.